guys welcome back this is Cole at bad guys we have another dyno test for you <coughs> and today we were testing a OEM K20A PRC type R manifold versus a CNC ported RBC manifold so for this engine it was a OEM motor that was imported from JDM of California it had uh, grams 1000 cc injectors on 91 fuel K-tuned header, a 3-inch exhaust, and a MagnaFlow muffler. Really pretty basic modifications here in this EEG. And these tests were done at the same day. We had our baseline run on the PRC. So the car had previously been tuned and was driven around for a couple months with this tune-up in it. And we put on the dyno, made a, about three hits on it. This was just one of the runs here in the blue from that. And then we hot swapped over to the RBC manifold and the 72 millimeter K tune throttle body. So the blue again is going to be our PRC pull, and the red will be our RBC. So if you take a look here on this first picture I have for you, at about 5,500 RPM, you can see that the RBC is up about 11 horsepower and about 10 foot pounds. And as we scroll down here, we'll be at about 6,500 here on this one. You can see that we are up on the RBC about 8 horsepower and 7 torque at 6,500 RPM. Moving along at about 8,000, you can see we're still up again about 10 horsepower and 6 foot-pounds. And we did end up uh, revving this motor out to about 9,000 RPM, just a hair under. And this is where, you know, it's really taken off. You can see the PRC here. It's doing okay. It's pretty decent, you know, for an OEM manifold. And then once you start to get the higher RPM, it just falls off slowly, slowly, down, 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 down. Whereas the RBC just takes that power level and just holds it right there. So at the peak RPM here, we're able to see about a 17 horsepower and 10 foot-pounds gain. So again, the key to being fast on the track is averages. Averages, averages, averages. That's how you're going to come off the corner, you're going to accelerate better, and the car is just going to go faster, period. So as you can see here, the RBC just everywhere. Gains everywhere, all the way across the board. Even in the super high RPM is where this thing really kind of shines. And now if this engine had, you know, some cams in it, or a couple more modifications, I think this top end here would really just kind of take off to the moon. But for a stock importer engine, you know, with just really basic bolt-ons, this thing made killer power. And this was dynoed on a DynoJet uh, roller. It had the WinPep 7 at the time. And I just want to say thank you to our customer. He was actually the very first one that had one of our CNC manifolds. This was the first one we ever finished first one bolted on the car and he was the first one to test it and it was tuned by Robert Hoffman at race front wheel drive he did a great job on it and uh, allowed us to get this data so can't thank him enough for that 
And if you have any questions or comments or you have a RBC manifold you're looking to get ported, you can send us a message on our social media at facebook.com slash badguysworldwide. Or you want to see some more pictures of the manifold and a couple of other uh, bits of information we have on our website at badguysonline.com. Or if you just want to see what we're up to, you can follow us on Instagram at badguys underscore worldwide. Thanks for watching.